So we are going to show you some whistle codes that we use here at our water park and they're specific for our water park. Um, so Kate here is going to example them for you. First we're going to do one short. So one short um, is when you're just trying to tell a kid to stop running or if you're just trying to enforce the rules such as don't climb up the slide or one at a time on the rock wall. All those rules that you'll learn later on, if you're just trying to enforce a rule, just do one short when you're trying to get some uh, patron's attention. Okay? So just like that. Um, when you guys get your whistles, we'll practice these as well. Um, so that is just to enforce a rule or to get a patron's attention. To get a fellow coworker or another lifeguard's attention, you're going to do two short. So it's going to be the same thing, but two back to back. This is when you either either trying to get a hold of your fellow lifeguard that you can see across the pool, or if you need more water and there's a manager walking around or a head guard, you'll raise your fist if you need a manager, um, and you'll do too short to get another lifeguard's attention. So that's what it sounds like. Um, and then the rapid whistles, which this is really for the pros. If you can't do it, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but this is going to be back to back to back to back. It doesn't matter how many you do, just as long as it's rapid. Um, but this is for when there are when there's poop in the pool, when someone throws up in the pool, or when you just need to clear the pool uh, for lightning. If you need to clear the pool, that you're going to do the rapid whistles. So Kate, Kate will do it for us. Okay, cool. And that and everybody's going to look at you, and then you can just say, "Everybody out of the pool." Just make sure you say it nicely, not like me. Okay. All right, so the next whistle code we're going to do is one long. So one long is when you're making a save. Um, this, this is when the person, person is conscious, they're not unconscious, they're still um, flailing and they're awake. They just need your help in the water. So one long. So you'll be doing this when you jump in the pool and you're saving somebody with your tube. Um, this allows us to know that there was a save. Um, and to get other patrons' attentions and lifeguards, and we'll come over with a rescue report to fill that out. So when you save and you do this whistle, make sure you hold on to the person you saved because we will have to fill out a report. So that's one long. Now we'll do two long. So two long is for to activate the EAP, the emergency action plan. So two long gets uh, all the lifeguards to come out and help you bring the crash bag out, bring the AD out. Um, when we blow too long, that means the person is unconscious. That's when we need the ambulance to come, the police to come, so this is the worst whistle we could hear. Um, so too long, Kate will do that for us. 